Happy Wednesday, everyone. Thank you guys once again for tuning back in. It really does mean a lot, your support. Uh, and let's get right into another recap here. So today's, uh, today's recap is going to be pretty short and sweet because of the direction. In my opinion, I thought it was a little more clear on the day. And I'm going to cover um, why I was, if the direction was clear, why was I down a dollar on the day, right? Basically broken even, but I want to cover why I wasn't able to profit. So quickly just going into uh, the monitor, right, to show you my trades. Here were all of them, only 13. And my last one was at 7.30. So I didn't even trade that long this morning, unfortunately. Didn't have too much time. And yeah, so I was red on the day right here. Right here is TQs, right? I was down 164. Our count shows we are up, but that's not the case as far as my day trading, right? So right around here, um, the market at 5.30 shot up huge because of the CPI data report that was released. It was just positive news. And because of that, obviously the market ended up rallying. And after that, an hour after that happened, right around here was when the uh, market started to open, right around this general area here. So what I noticed was that the market w w wanted to basically keep validating this uptrending pattern, this higher high and higher low pattern, right? Every time the market pushed back down, it would always keep making a higher high to keep showing signs of growth. And on top of that, the lows it had, right? let's say right around here, it formed a higher low, meaning the lows it kept having after that continued to be higher, right, for the most part. There may have been little dips below, like let's say this one dipped a little below here, right? But overall, that is still a higher low, right, than the lows it was at here. It's continuing to show signs that it wants to go. So that's why I um, decided to focus on TQs today, right? All my trades are on TQs, if you guys will notice, and I never averaged in uh, fully at any time. I was only in with half um, at the start. So throughout the day, I was green most of the day. And the trade that unfortunately made me uh, end red on the day was right around here. When the market continued to start rallying up, right around here when it broke this high here, I decided to fully average in my trade, right? And because of that, basically, um, I, I, I wasn't in with the full $10,000, right? When I say fully, I mean with the full position size I meant to be trading with at the time today, which was $5,000. So that's why you'll see I sent another uh, position of 60 shares. So right after that happened, I was looking for one more large like up to let's say right around these levels, right here, 15,520, maybe 15,530. And because we didn't get another leg up, unfortunately, I had to set a stop loss where it would make sense to me. And that was at a break of pattern here. I'm riding this blue EMA line here up. So once I saw that the market wanted to start falling, and it was, I believe, right around this area here, where I had my stop loss set for TQs. Because right around this area, that would be enough of a drop for me, right, below the EMA line especially after it tried to find a support. If it dipped below this area and broke the support here, that would just be a sign to me that it could basically, the market might start wanting to change direction, right? Because it's no longer trying to validate the same uptrend pattern. So because of that, I unfortunately ended up getting stopped out. I didn't get another leg up and I just wanted to make sure I was playing my cards right because if this trade did end up going my way because I averaged up, I would have ended up on a day um, almost at around $100, right? Because I was already green on the trade and I was going to be up, let's say, around $80 more realistically. But unfortunately, I ended up going south, but I made sure to manage uh, the outcome basically. So if it did go south like you saw, I basically just lost what I started being up on a day, which was like $20 to $30 um, at most, right? So I ended up only being down a dollar on a day, which... Unfortunately, I'm not happy with, right? I would have loved the green day, but the plus side of that is that, like I just said, I was able to manage my risk. That's something a lot of people aren't able to do. And yeah, I'm just happy I didn't get the, I didn't let my emotions get the best of me because that's something a lot of new traders especially will struggle with that um, I, I did and my brother did as well. Um, and it's basically because if you can't handle your emotions, you keep getting more and more mad as let's say if a trade were to go south and you were to now be red on the day, you get more and more basically mad and it just clouds your judgment. You wanna consistently, let's say, 
start averaging up sooner just to start making money quicker back even though at times where it may not make sense and unfortunately uh, most of the time I do end up getting wrecked even more so those are the days that lead to my big red days so it's important to manage them and yeah just pay attention to the blue EMA line too right it made sense that the market kept continuously uptrending when it was using this blue EMA line here as a support and it's not until we stopped seeing that right the higher highs and higher lows we ended up getting a lower high here right the high it formed here couldn't continue climbing right it formed a lower high where we really started to kind of find some resistance and ultimately if you'll notice we no longer were using the blue EMA line now as a support it started to fall below it now and we are now using it as a resistance right anytime it would try to basically push around the blue EMA line here it kept getting rejected we had this brief little bounce here but ultimately didn't want to um, find a higher low here right it kept wanting to validate that downtrending pattern and that ended up happening all the way up until here at uh, 15343 until like I just said again we ended up switching direction right if you'll notice the uh, Nasdaq started to trend above the blue EMA line again and it started to hold above it now that's why you'll see it made sense that we kept changing directions here now for TQ so thank you guys so much for watching I hope it all made sense and if you guys were still confused at all make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer the questions thank you guys so much and I'll see you all tomorrow take care